Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to Brixton in London. We're here for a gym tour with a bit of a difference. Let me explain more. Training has become a massive part of our sport. So when we heard of BlockFit, a climbing wall specifically for training, well, we had to check it out. So I'm here to meet Dave, uh, who is standing patiently there. Dave, lovely to see you, mate. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Dave, thank you so much for having me here. This is uh, the most unique climbing wall I've ever been to in London. I've been to a few in London. How long have you guys been open for? Uh, we've been open for two months. So super new, you're still like learning all the ropes? Still learning all the ropes, yeah. Dragging ourselves through it at the moment. And how's it all gone? Has it been a good start? It's been good, it's slowed at first, but it's picked up. We've got quite a lot of people in now. Uh, footfall's up, sales are up, so we're good. Now this is a very training specific climbing wall. You're not gonna come here and get a whole bunch of problems. This is for people who wanna train for their projects and get stronger, right? Yeah, pretty much that is the sole reason you would come here. I mean, we do have people generally just come because it's a quieter wall than other walls, but you're coming here if you've got a goal and you're working towards something. Nice, I, I like it already. And straight away from the beginning, we've got this, this training thing here. There's a full on gym. You could just come here for a normal workout. Yeah, I mean, I. Before I was a climber, I was a bodybuilder, so I've always been around weights and exercises. And, you know, not a lot of walls kit out for people who still want to do fitness. So we've got to have half and half. So, yeah, we've got everything. Kettlebells, dumbbells, slam balls, and some balls, <laughs> running machine. I'm, well, I'm well impressed with everything apart from the running machine. Um, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I, don't, have, I don't run. It, but <laughs> there are people who do come in and like to do a bit of a run before they start climbing. Right. Warms you up. Well, I mean, I wouldn't know, so. Um, and coming through here, we've got a, a true torture device of a, of a bar, one of them twisty things that I am terrible at. Yeah, it's a classic lapis torture device. Um, it's great for your wrist strength and your forearms. Not many people can hang on it. So when you get someone who can and they get through it and they're like, wow, I'm doing it, people get quite addicted to it. And you're right by the desk, so you can right sort of see desk, them and yeah. encourage yeah. slash laugh. Or laugh if they yeah. fall off, yeah, yeah pretty much. And, and then coming into the main wall itself, uh, stepping up into this padded area, you've got the first one of your walls, not too overhanging with what looks like circuits around it. Yeah, so this is our endurance board. It's 22.5 degrees. Um, we grade from 6A upwards to 7C, I think is the hardest one at the moment. Yeah, it's just a good pump board. Because we're underneath a railway arch here, and the space, it, it isn't a huge amount of space. And packing in circuits is a good way. If you want to come here and train a bit of endurance, you can get a lot in a small space. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it caters for sport climbers who are doing endurance, as well as people who want to do four by fours. Um, people warm up on it, people lap it. There's so many things you can do with a good endurance board. Uh, and moving on, we've got this collection of fingerboards. I don't think I've ever seen so many different brands of fingerboards in one place. You've got some around the back and you've got all of these. What's going on here? Um, <laughs> There's a lot of fingerboards. People like to hang on things. We got everything from Eva Lopez's progression board to a custom-made sloper board by Alex Fryer, who made that for me when I needed to train my sloper strength. Uh, we got a lattice rung. Yeah, I mean, we like to have variety. You, know, you can't stick to one edge. Because it, it sounds a bit like you've designed this place with yourself in mind as well. Like you're a climber, you're a trainer, you know what you need, and you've kind of created the perfect playground for yourself and hopefully other people. Definitely. When I started BlockFit, four years ago training people one-on-one -on -one, there was always the plan to have a garage style training facility where people could just push themselves and that means yeah it's not the prettiest thing in the world but we have everything and it's about pushing yourself. So carrying on down the climbing wall we got the first of what I presume is many campus boards uh, with crusher holds going from so big to small on that. Yeah so this is the harder out of the campus boards we have crusher holds is Paul Robbins who makes fantastic holds uh, yeah it's a good Campus run. You can tell you've only been up in two months. It's very white and shiny still. I presume this is not going to last for long. No, definitely not. I can't imagine. I'm just dusted everywhere already, so hoovering constantly. Nice. And then moving on, there's something I've, I've honestly never seen in a climbing wall, really anywhere. It's like a really small, what, symmetrical systems board style thing? Yeah, it's a system board. A friend of mine made it. He runs a company uh, making furniture and I needed it for my old studio because we didn't have much space. So it moves from 15 to 25 degrees. It means you can do everything from endurance to power drills to clipping drills if you're doing leading. Uh, yeah, I do assessments on it. It's, it's probably the only original kit I've got from my old studio that came with me to here. 
And it's not very high, obviously, so like little static moves or what? Feet on, no, no twisting, proper static square and just keep moving. I've got very bad shoulders, that might be the thing for me, like that kind of lock off thing. It's really important, uh, it's a really good tool, I rate it. Out of corner of my eye, I've seen something we've got to go and have a look at because uh, I've never seen one of these anywhere apart from Tom Randall's cellar. Basically, you've got you've got a crack in here. Yes. Um, I mean, you're a sensible climber. Why have you got a crack in your wall? Um, I, I personally hate crack climbing, but uh, I have a few clients who are crack climbers who have done LCAP, and basically they asked for it. If people want something and we can yeah, cater for it, we will do it. So we built a crack, and we will extend it if it gets a lot of use. Extend it further around. Yeah. Further up the wall and maybe have something coming off this way for overhanging. Nice man, sounds good. Um, and Beast Maker, 1000, 2000, fairly standard, and then more crusher holds on this side of the campus board. Holds. You can never have too many campus rungs. <laughs> uh, yeah, sloper rungs are important, we've got blocks. Uh, yeah, it gets a lot of use. Well, behind us is where everyone seems to be gathered and focused, which is this climbing wall. So tell me a bit about this. Uh, what's the kind of angles we're looking at on this? Okay, so this is the beast board. Uh, it goes from 55 to 35 to 30 degrees. Uh, it's just resin holds. Uh, it's on an app, uh, so you can make up your own problems, uh, add problems, climb off people's problems. And yeah, you get uh, a mob of people, as you can see on it at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's a really good board. Well, I was, was going to ask you that, because it's sort of, um, I can't remember what day, it's Thursday or something. It's, it's coming up to 12 o'clock and there's a whole group of people here. Do, is there quite a community feel? Feel to this gym? Yeah, I mean it was slow starting but once people started coming here and realising it, it wasn't just a gym and they could climb well and hard and with groups of friends and it was like being at home, mm. yeah there's a great community, everyone knows everyone, everyone knows what per coffee someone drinks or what they're training for, it's a good vibe. Yeah it's nice because it's there's some training, I think in like the schoolroom in Sheffield that feels quite elite, it is yeah. very elitist by design. This place, although it obviously is pretty hardcore, it feels like it caters for a lot of people. Yeah we, we try and cater for everyone, I, I don't think anyone's excluded, as long as you've got your own shoes and you're willing to train, you're willing to push yourself, there's always someone here who can help you with something. Well continuing down here we've got um, the most ridiculously overhanging thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, what what kind of angle is that at? Uh, this is the 60 degree woody. Uh, the holds are by uh, hardwood holds and uh, LX grips. Uh, it's my personal favourite board. You get s some really strong climbers on it. Um, there's nothing else like it in London. Uh, it's a proper cellar board. And, and the wooden holds as well, like, they are slippy to hold onto. They hurt when you dry snap off them, but uh, they're friendly to the fingers. They're a lot, a lot better than resin. Have you had any sort of high profile people come in here and, and take advantage of this kind of thing? Yeah, uh, we've had Aidan Roberts and Molly Thompson Smith, John Partridge, Matt Cousins. Uh, they're not bad. Yeah, pretty good climbers coming in and they tend to gravitate towards the steep board. And, yeah, it, it, people like it. Yep. It looks very cool. And behind me is something I've seen a lot of, which is a moon board. And it's, it's kind of become fairly standard-ish in, in training gym, or in gyms yep. to have one. Um, and you've gone with that vibe as well. Yeah, when we was building, we was just going to put a 45 in. Uh, but basically we put it on our social media, asked what people wanted, and people wanted a moon board. So they got a moon board. You said that a few times, is that, that people have requested it. Do, do you do that? So if someone comes in and is just like, look, I'm trying to do this, can you help me with this? Are you willing to facilitate and help them out? Totally. So, you know, we're climbers, we're, everyone helps everyone, don't they? That's kind of what we base our sport around. So yeah, if you want it, we'll, we'll get in if we can. Um, and then moving down uh, from a sort of high-tech electronic setup into something a bit more normal, then crusher holds uh, and uh, again a sort of systems board. Yeah, so it's a symmetry system board, uh, 30 degrees. It's on a number system at the moment, but will be on an app because the number's quite confusing. Uh, and basically, it's split up the middle. If you if you're training hard and you've got an imbalance somewhere, it will it will tell you. You know, you can train the same route on the left or the right, and it'll build up strength. Um, so that's the climbing wall bit of this done, all yeah. the exciting bits. And then I, I saw upstairs there's a whole area kind of raised up. Can we go and check that out? Yeah, go for it. Okay. 
so Dave, you mentioned earlier you're a personal trainer and presumably you climb and you are a climber, right? Otherwise you wouldn't have created this in the first place. Yeah, I started off just a hobby climbing and then got into the industry. But unfortunately with any industry, if you're working in it, then you tend to do less of it. So I, I don't climb as much as I used to, unfortunately. I started off today uh, on my opening link saying how there's lots of gyms being open throughout the world. It's, it's super popular now, but yours is different. There aren't many just training facilities open. Why did you make that decision? Instead of opening a normal gym, why did you go for this kind of setup? Basically because it's what I do. I mean, indoor climbing was always about training hard to go outdoors. Uh, it seems to have gone a different way now. Uh, and it's socially, it's great to go to a big wall and climb on volumes and run across things and stuff like that. But for me, it was all always about pulling hard and building my strength so that when I went to Fon or Albaracin or to the peaks, I was climbing at the best I could climb. That's why we do it. Uh, so it made sense to me to do it that way. It's been awesome for me to come and see this place. And I, the only thing I'm very gutted about is you didn't have it open when I lived in London because I would have loved a place where I could go and train during the week and then at weekends as you said go off drive up to the peaks you know and do your rock climbing thing at the weekends but have this place to come to and, and just work out it, it's it, it feels really cool a great place to be thank you uh, I hope it is uh, you know people seem to like it and everyone's quite positive about it everyone likes the fact it's different to every other wall in London and we're, we're the only ones doing what we do so you know um, yeah I'm pretty proud of it so, well, Dave, I know it's early days, so best of luck for the future year. And if you're in London, if you're in Brixton and you want to work out, head down to BlockFit. See you soon.